Understanding brain stroke, signs, science, and survival. Every 40 seconds, someone suffers a stroke. Every 3.5 minutes, someone dies from it. It's sudden, it's silent, and it's devastating. But what if I told you that recognizing just a few simple signs could save a life, maybe even your own? Welcome to Cognition 360 Health. Today we're diving deep into one of the most urgent brain emergencies, the stroke. You'll learn what it is, how it works, who is at risk, what happens inside your brain during a stroke, and most importantly, how to prevent it. This isn't just another health topic, this is a survival guide. What is a brain stroke? A stroke, also known as a cerebrovascular accident, happens when blood flow to a part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, either by a blockage or a burst blood vessel. When that happens, brain cells are cut off from oxygen and nutrients, and they begin to die within minutes. There are three major types of strokes you should know about. 1. Ischemic stroke. This is the most common type, making up about 87% of all cases. It's caused by a clot or blockage in an artery supplying blood to the brain. 2. Hemorrhagic stroke. This occurs when a blood vessel in the brain bursts, leading to bleeding in or around the brain. 3. Transient ischemic attack, TIA. Often called a mini-stroke, this is a temporary blockage that doesn't cause permanent damage but serves as a major warning sign. Each type has different causes, symptoms and treatments, but all of them are serious and require immediate attention. Causes and risk factors. So, what causes a stroke? It usually starts in your arteries. Over time, fat, cholesterol and other substances can build up and form plaques. These plaques narrow the arteries and can eventually lead to clots. Some of the biggest risk factors include high blood pressure, the number one risk factor, high cholesterol promotes plaque formation, diabetes damages blood vessels over time, smoking speeds up artery damage, obesity and inactivity contribute to many of the above conditions, heavy alcohol use increases blood pressure and bleeding risk. Age. Risk doubles each decade after 55. Family history and genetics. Your DNA can influence clotting tendencies and vessel health, heart disease, atrial fibrillation, and even COVID-19 in some cases. Let's be clear. Strokes can happen to anyone, young or old, active or sedentary. But many of these risks can be controlled. Science of a stroke. Let's take a journey inside the brain. Imagine your brain as a power grid. Millions of neurons are communicating every second. That grid runs on blood. In an ischemic stroke, a clot suddenly blocks a major artery. This creates a central core where neurons begin to die rapidly. Around that core is the penumbra, a danger zone where brain cells are barely hanging on, this area is what emergency treatment tries to save. In a hemorrhagic stroke, a blood vessel bursts and blood spills into brain tissue. This leads to swelling, inflammation and increased pressure, further harming brain cells. Depending on the location, a stroke can impair movement, speech, memory, even behavior. A left brain stroke may cause language difficulties. A right brain stroke might affect spatial awareness. This is why time is everything. Brain tissue dies at a rate of 1.9 million neurons per minute during a stroke. Warning signs and fast action. Recognizing the signs of a stroke can be the difference between life and death. That's where the acronym FAST comes in. F face drooping. Ask the person to smile. One side may sag. A arm weakness. Can they raise both arms? Does one drift down? Speech difficulty. Slurred, confused or no speech at all. T. Time to call emergency services. Don't wait. Get help immediately.
Other warning signs to watch for include Sudden confusion or trouble understanding Sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes Dizziness Trouble walking or loss of coordination A sudden severe headache that comes out of nowhere, also called a thunderclap headache Do not ignore these symptoms Even if they go away quickly, it could be a TIA And a TIA is a major warning shot Diagnosis and medical response when someone arrives at the ER with stroke symptoms, every second counts. The medical team begins with a neurological exam and often performs a CT or MRI scan to identify the type of stroke. For ischemic strokes, treatment may include TPA, tissue plasminogen activator, a clot-busting drug, most effective within 4.5 hours, mechanical thrombectomy, a catheter-based technique to remove the clot directly from the brain. For hemorrhagic strokes, treatment may involve surgical clipping or coiling of a ruptured aneurysm, draining excess fluid to reduce pressure, managing blood pressure tightly and preventing further bleeding. In either case, rapid action is the only way to minimize long-term brain damage, stroke rehabilitation and recovery. Stroke recovery is not a one-size-fits-all process. It depends on the stroke's location, size and severity, but the brain has a remarkable ability to adapt. This adaptability is known as neuroplasticity, the brain's capacity to reorganize and form new neural connections. It's the foundation of recovery. Rehabilitation may include physical therapy, for walking, strength and coordination, speech-language therapy, for speech and swallowing, occupational therapy, for everyday tasks like dressing and eating, cognitive therapy, for memory and thinking skills. Support from family, therapists and support groups plays a huge role. Patience, encouragement and consistency are key. Recovery can take months or even years. Stroke Prevention Here's the good news. Up to 80% of strokes are preventable. Yes, you heard that right. Prevention is your strongest weapon. Here are some life-saving steps. Monitor and manage your blood pressure. Aim for under 120-80. Keep your cholesterol in check. Maintain a healthy weight. Exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Eat a brain-healthy diet rich in leafy greens, whole grains, nuts and omega-3 fatty acids. Stop smoking and limit alcohol. Manage chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Prioritize sleep, seven to nine hours every night. Reduce stress through mindfulness, breathing and lifestyle adjustments. Talk to your doctor about stroke screening, especially if you have a family history. Final recap and call to action. A stroke changes lives in seconds, but with knowledge, preparation and fast action, it doesn't have to define the rest of your life. Remember, know the signs, act fast, take control of your health and lifestyle, and support those on the road to recovery. And share this video, you could save someone's life. Your brain is your most valuable asset. Protect it, nourish it, honor it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.